everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about excluding lookalike audiences in your advertising um, on the Facebook platform. Okay, and for, for those of you who don't know what a lookalike audience is, um, let's say you have a funnel where you have an ad to a landing page uh, and then a thank you page. Okay, so someone uh, clicks on an ad, they fill out the landing page and then they hit the thank you page. If you have Facebook's pixel on that thank you page, what happens is that if you have a certain number of people hitting that page, Facebook will pixel those people and you'll be able to create a similar, a lookalike audience, which is like a similar audience to those people. So let's say 300 people hit that thank you page. You can then create an audience that Facebook knows is similar to those 300 people. I hope that makes sense. And when you have that, that similar audience, then you can start showing new ads to that pe to those people because you know that um, there are similar audiences and they're likely to convert and you're likely to be able to get a good ROI from that particular audience. Okay, and what we're talking about here is something that's uh, that's pretty funky actually. And one of my students actually taught taught me this um, about a week ago, which is kind of cool. Um, but what he was talking about was excluding lookalike audiences from um, your, your um, target, your targeting on the Facebook platform. And the way it works is this, all right? If you're creating an ad on the Facebook platform and you're sending people to a quiz, so it might be something like, uh, check if you qualify for X, Y, Z, take this quiz to find out if, if you do qualify. So that's the, that's the type of ad. They then go to a quiz and they're put through a number of, of questions, okay? And what happens is that based on the answers and the criteria they put into that quiz, you can take them to either a good thank you page or a bad thank you page. So let's use uh, car finance as an example. If they are a homeowner and they've employed and they've got a good job and a good income and they're looking for a car loan, then you'll take them to a good thank you page, all right? But if they're unemployed, they're looking for a small loan um, and it's unlikely that they're going to convert into someone that buys car finance for this particular business, you can take them to a bad thank you page. And what I was talking before about before is that you then create what's called a custom audience of those people that are um, hitting the good thank you page and a custom audience um, of the bad thank you page. And when you build that audience up to a certain level, I think it's around 300 um, visits to those particular pages, you can then create a good lookalike audience and a bad lookalike audience, all right? And what happens then is that um, you can use the good lookalike audiences obviously for your advertising and moving forward, but a good trick that we've learnt and we're actually using within our agency already is taking that bad lookalike audience and adding it and excluding it from our targeting. So what happens then is Facebook's finding you know, however million people that we know that are probably going to be a bad car loan, that are not probably going to be a good lead for that client, and we're excluding them completely from our targeting, which automatically gives us a better chance of, of generating great quality leads. Um, I hope that explains uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, it, it's fairly complex, but hopefully you understand um, what I'm talking about. I think it's uh, yeah, very powerful, it makes a lot of sense and we're already seeing some great results from it. So um, give it a go, give it a go. Uh, if you're interested in more about what we do, how to build a, a seven figure Facebook lead gen agency um, and moving away from retainer contracts and local businesses and all that kind of stuff, then we've got a free case study, it's below this video. Click on it, enjoy, uh, I'll see you soon.